Hello, Hello there. there. Kyle Katarn here. And Bendu. Coming back for another reaction to The Mandalorian. It's pretty likely that this video will get taken down by YouTube. If that happens, a really edited version is going to take its place. But you will still be able to watch the full-length reaction and the highlight reactions over on the Patreon. You'll find a link at the bottom of the video. Episode 4. Yeah, that's right. We're the fourth one, which means I think there's only four to go. Which makes me kind of sad. I wish yeah. the season was longer, but I'm still really excited to see what's coming next. I mean, with the budget they had, though, I mean, like, it's not like they haven't delivered with what was given. Mm -hmm. Cough. We've mentioned before them having the Game of Thrones budget, and they're mm -hmm. delivering way more than... Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna go there. But um, yes, but, yeah. no. episode four. Budgets through the roof, and it really shows. Yeah. Know? In all the Thanksgiving craziness of this last week, uh, we didn't do a poll, but uh, we're gonna post one next week, so you can stay tuned for that. But yeah, we're gonna you know hopefully we're gonna be on a new planet now, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, it's gonna be interesting yeah, to see what the new chapter is. Yeah, hopefully because we don't know because he's on the run. Um, he just stole the baby, and he's off. Grief Karga is still alive, Rescued. but the guild is totally going to be after him. Right. The Imperial Remnant is completely going to be after him. Um, so we don't or know where he's going to go. Or is it he is after the Imperial Remnant? Maybe now. he's going to go to the Ocean Dunes of whatever it was where the Mon Calamari target is. Maybe that was a clue to his right. destiny. We don't really know. Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, dive into this thing. Does this one have a title? Um, they. We don't know the title yet. They oh, usually okay. reveal it in the thing. Truth. On the Disney Plus app, it just says Chapter 4. Do, Do it. it! Oh, they're totally little crustacean things. That was an interesting walker. That's the, that's the little droid from Jason Ward's leaks back in the day. Wait, they're harvesting blue shrimp. Blue harvest. Get it? Blue harvest? <laughs> nice one, Favreau. I was gonna say something came oh, to no, orbit. No. Where are those big steps? Those are like big oh, those are steps. Yeah. Pillboy! What the fuck? <laughs> That's Pillboy from the Good Place. Oh, it is big ass walkers. ATSTs? Maybe something even bigger? Oh shit! Oh shit, this is so, uh, probably gonna be backstory for, uh... Oh, I can't think of her name right now. The UFC fighter. There's Death Troopers, bro. No, that's... No, they're just fucking... What is this, Mordor attacking right now? <laughs> yeah. It's a bunch of orcs? Damn, that was... I was like, well, never mind. That was fucking close. Seriously. Till our paths cross. Hmm. So she's not going with him. Right? No, they're setting it up to be like all of his friends are going to come to help him in his darkest hour later on kind of thing. Oh, my. oh Yoda. Can't keep calling him Yoda. Yeah, he needs a new name. This was a fun little episode. Bro, yeah, no. Yeah. It was totally just like, on to the next western town. And those villager huts look very Ralph McQuarrie, don't they? Dude, those eyeballs. They're emphasizing oh, Bryce Dallas so Howard. much nice. on the baby. Yeah, man. That art is so good. It's so sick. Look how it has the paint on the side of it. Clatoonians rushing in. Yeah, what'd you think? Dude, I first off, I really hope that the Mandalorian soundtrack comes out soon because Seriously. the sooner I can get a hold of I'm pretty the, sure it's already uh, available. At least some of it is. The pipe like the pipe pan music, like it's just dope. I want to listen to that in my car. I think they I think they released the soundtrack per episode when the episode airs. The soundtrack for that episode it goes live too. Cuz I don't want to give away anything in the track titles. Right. You yeah. Know? Would make sense. Um, that was amazing. We got it. The ATST was so dope. With the red lights inside, so you could tell that it wasn't like officially operating. This wasn't the Empire. Yeah. It had like cool markings on the front of it. The that super rusted ass legs. That walker actually reminded me a lot of the edited walker from the first Force Unleashed game that you had to fight. Totally. Um, totally. Because, like. The Kashyyyk yeah, one, the one yeah, with the, because the, the, the boss the, guy. The head was built a lot, or was, like, angled a lot differently. But what I was originally gonna, gonna say was that I liked how it really showed where the. 
the kill box for the walker really was like because mm-hmm. I, I keep forgetting her name but like she was held up against Kara Kara Dune she was held up against the the dirt you know like the dirt wedge in the in the water like well enough that it was like it was she was just underneath like the chin of the blaster like yep. it couldn't shoot down enough you know oh trust like, me i know blend, anyone who's played battlefront 2 will know exactly what where the that chin is, is. That yeah if you get close enough you can't yeah. shoot down enough it was it was interesting yeah i like that yeah. they were uh, shooting the cockpit to try to coax it to step forward yeah no yeah no that was there's awesome. a lot of really cool uh, we got a loaf cat from rebels dude that was so that was dope cool. well it was yeah. definitely a tuca of some breed i think it was a loaf cat specifically but yeah no it it's, definitely a it's head it's head and mouth was like the same size mm-hmm. as like the baby Yoda. We got uh, we got a Relby V10 rifle in there, along with a couple other different Dude, blasters the, and a couple pistols. The pistols. Which is a nice little, nice yeah. little throw in. There's a couple of um, I wouldn't like if I were able to look at them, I'd be able to point it out. But there's a couple of Knights of the Old Republic ones that was just like, yes, yep. that's an HK47 pistol, right there. Um, yeah. The tracking, the footprint, the footprint tracking that was totally so from uh, from Legends. They brought that right. into canon yeah. with this with this yeah. helmet. That's badass. Another thing that the helmets could do in Legends, uh, Boba Fett's helmet had like a 360 degree vision at all times because he had like cameras. There were sh- well, yeah, sensors that was that were the showing other him. thing I was trying so to also So he always remember. had like a complete field of vision at all times. I'm trying to remember if his monocle thing was also like a periscope or what he used. His it's a rangefinder. It was. A, it's a rangefinder and it's a targeting it. scanner for the rocket out of the jetpack. That would make sense. That's what that's what we see because it's like it you would need that in order to get the giant. But we use, we see Sabine thing. use hers for like uh, like as binoculars and stuff, right? You know? And I was trying to figure out before we've never seen her use a flamethrower, right? She's always used no. wrist rockets and like the grappling yeah, hook. Yeah, no, a she had grappling times. wire and uh, wrist rockets. But she also but is she like, never had a she was also more of a jetpack heavy Mandalorian, whereas like this guy like. <sighs> Oh, he'll be. Yeah, I think he's cool. on his way. He'll be a jetpack fucking, heavy Mandalorian. The whistling. Oh man, I hope we get to see the whistling, whistling birds. Those ones again. The whistling birds. Dope. Fuck yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. In um, the Clone Wars, I think it's season two, maybe season three. There's an episode called Bounty Hunters, mm-hmm. where Anakin, I think it's Anakin, Obi Wan, and Ahsoka, team up with a squad of bounty hunters to help teach a villager, a team of villagers, how to defend their village against pirates that are raiding them and stealing their harvest and they're led by Hondo which is a, an homage to The Seven Samurai which is an amazing yeah. fucking film by Akira Kurosawa if you haven't seen it go see it um, so they're redoing it they're doing it a second time in this show and I'm here for it I think they did a really good job and in my opinion all good Star Wars is just Akira Kurosawa in space with lasers anyway I was gonna so say, this totally yeah. works it totally works for me I think they did a good job um, that like even that film is or rather the seven seven samurai film yeah. like it gets brought up multiple times even with the Darth the final Darth Maul Obi Wan fight like oh absolutely it gets, it gets with that paid fight, yeah. it gets paid homage to like so much with its cinematography and just the way that it's shot like per scene it's like even like in terms I know of for the a lot of people they would like George Lucas. seeing black and white films but like it's so dope. Yeah. Even as a black and white film. Like, in terms of the influences gorgeous. that he had on George Lucas, if it wasn't for Akira Kurosawa, we wouldn't have Star Wars, wouldn't resemble what it looks like today. You know? It's, um, the narratives, the storytelling decisions, and just the cinematography even is very evocative of that older style, and it's pretty amazing. So if you haven't seen any of Kurosawa's old films, check them out. They're great. What's up? What are you doing? You want to come sit? Okay. Okay. Hi. This is Shadow, everybody. She's an old rescue. She's very old and diseased and gross. Um, but she wants to be a part of it, so here she is. Yeah. Anyway, so one thing that seems to come up a lot is um, Baby Yoda. What do we call it? I don't want to call it Baby Yoda. I don't like calling it Baby Yoda. I've seen Yiddle, like Yoda and Little put mm-hmm. together. I've seen things. We've got Yoda. We've got Yaddle. Yeah. Let us know. Um, I'm going to post a poll with a couple of options. I want you guys to decide what we should be referring to this baby as. So um, if you have a really good suggestion for a baby name, you can either vote in the poll that I'm going to post, or you can leave it as a comment on the poll, and whatever gets the most uh, votes. We will you know, say your name. and That will be how we refer to the child from now on. 
Until um, he's given a name in the show, which could happen. You never know. Or the species. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out the rest of the channel for more content, reactions, and reviews. Check us out on Patreon if you're not already a subscriber. Join Kyle Katarn's Jedi Academy. It's a lot of fun. It's a crazy party over there. Thank you for watching, and as always, may, may the, the Force, force be, be with, with you. you.